Welcome on, police extravaganza. We are not certainly sure, but we think that this First Amendment auditor is Sean Paul Reyes from Long Island Audit. We apologize for our mistake if we are wrong. Anyway, please get in his YouTube channel and give him the credit he deserves for his perfect work for years. In this video, Sean Paul Reyes was peacefully exercising his First Amendment rights at the Pooler City Hall and Police Station in Pooler. Once he went to the police department side, he was trespassed from not only from a public parking lot but also from the police lobby, under threat of arrest. All of this was done under the direction of the chief of police of Pooler, a clear and simple tyrant. Things gone wrong. All right, so everything went well at City Hall. Did our FOIA request, no issues. That's what I like to uh, see. Now let's head over to the police department side and make sure that they respect our freedom of press right. Can I help you with something? Hey, how are you doing today, sir? Good, can I help you? Yeah, can I just get your name and badge number first? Uh, can I help you? You're in a employee parking lot. Can I, can I just get your name and badge Sergeant number? Sergeant Self. Sergeant Self? Yep. And your badge number? 615. 615? Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I don't I don't need any help. Yeah, you're in a you know secure you're in an employee parking lot. It's not a secure area. It's an employee parking lot and you're not an employee. This is and you're making employees feel uncomfortable. So this they walk this, inside the building. So this this parking lot is not a secured area. Okay. It's public property. Okay. It might be only for employee parking. I'm not parking in here. My car is not parked in here. I'm an independent journalist, I'm working on a story. This is for employees. You're not an employee, and you're making it's employee. Our, it's employees parking. Listen sir. to me. You're making our employees feel uncomfortable when they come in and out of from their vehicles. So that that's where the problem is. I understand. What, I I I don't understand what you're saying. Because how would I make somebody feel uncomfortable? I don't understand. Because you're not an employee. And you're an employee parking lot. And you're making the employees feel uncomfortable. The female employees. That are this isn't. This is an employee parking lot. Like you said, I'm not parking. I'm a journalist exercising my freedom of press right in a public area this is public like if i was behind those gates over there behind you that you that ID would be a you? restricted area do you do you suspect me of committing a crime sir do you have your id on you do you suspect me of committing a crime do you have your id on you? do you suspect me of committing a crime do you have any your id on you sir i need to know if you're suspecting me of committing a crime first i'm a police officer i asked you for your id i need you to give me your id sir with all due respect with all due respect sir can i can i speak to another supervisor i understand that you're a sergeant I, but I, I do not. I am the supervisor here. I understand, but then you should know, as a supervisor, sir, that unless you have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime in the state of Georgia, you cannot lawfully demand my ID from me. Okay. What I told you was, you're making employees feel uncomfortable. I've asked you for your ID. You're on. That's not a property. crime, sir. That's not a crime. I'm asking. You should know that in Georgia, it's you have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime that's been committed, sir. I just told you I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. Yeah, and you're being Freedom suspicious. of press. You're, you're not, you don't belong in this parking lot. You're, you're suspicious. Suspicious, suspicious is not a crime, sir. Suspicion is not a crime. You know that. Sergeant, come on. You know. Suspicion is not a crime. Okay. Let me see your driver's license. Is there an ID? Sir, I, I don't have a legal obligation to give you a driver's license or an ID, sir. I don't understand. Am I being detained? No, you're not being detained. You keep on walking. Okay, if I'm not being detained, I'm going to continue about my business, sir. I'm going to do it here. I'm an independent I'm journalist. Lot. Yeah, who, who are you, sir? You're not, I'm the chief of police. You're the chief yes, of police. Sir, can I can I get your name? You can look it up on the internet if you're that smart. But why would I have to look it up on the internet, sir? What's your name? What? Where's the professionalism? What's your name? Where's the professionalism? Where's the professionalism? My sergeant asked you for a my driver's first, license. Tell me if you tell me your name no, and no, identify no, no, no. yourself. We're not, we're not making we're not making tits for tats. This is a private. This is the employee parking lot. You're not an employee. You have this no is, business. This is this is. I'm not parking here. You, 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 this is, you, is this line. fenced off? Look, I want to make it very clear. Uh, it's not it a fenced clear. off area. Let me, let me make it very clear. This is an employee parking lot. There's no there's no okay. no trespassing signs or anything like that, okay. sir. I'm well, not breaking the law, sir. No, I'm ex I'm 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 actually engaged in a constitutionally protected activity, okay. and I feel like you're trying to bully me along with your sergeant. And sir, who are you? Who are you, sir? He's one of my employees. Okay, one of your employees. Yes. I feel like all three of you are trying to bully me and trying to exert authority over me that you don't have. Demanding ID. Your sergeant doesn't understand that he cannot demand ID lawfully okay, unless, un lot? unless he has reasonable, articulable suspicion. I've committed a why crime. Why are you in my parking lot? That's a, failure. That's a failure on your part, sir. You're supposed to educate your employees, correct? Why are you in my parking lot? They should know I'm working. I, like I told your sergeant, I'm not just not answering questions. I, I cannot answer questions, but I'm answering. I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story on the city. 
I was inside you doing a FOIA request. For the city? No. You be yes, I was. Tag numbers and everything like that. Who says I'm recording anybody? And plus, it's public information. You guys run tags all day. People yeah. people drive around all day in the city with tags on. It's not like any private information. Do I have a database where I can look up people? Come on, I'm you right. gotta you gotta think logically here. I don't have a database where I can just type in somebody's you know license plate and, and figure out who they are. Let's okay, be I'm real. gonna ask you to leave. Are, is, are you ordering me to leave I'm ordering under you to threat leave. of arrest, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm ordering you. This is the third time I've told you to leave my parking lot. I'm gonna go on a public sidewalk and I'm gonna continue to record. Going? I'm gonna continue to record your parking lot and I'm gonna hit you up with civil litigation over this. Just so you know, because you're you're violating a constitutionally protected activity, and in this small town here, you might think that you're gonna get away with it, but you're not. I'm telling you right now, Chief, and I don't know your name, but I don't know your name either. You are the public servant here, sir. You are the public servant here. You're making, you're, you're, all you're doing is you're allowing your city, you're, you're portraying your city in a negative light okay. for the world to see. Remember that. Good. Remember I told you that, Chief. Yes, sir. So this is a public sidewalk, correct? Yeah. This is a public sidewalk. Make sure. You guys are nothing but a bunch of bullies. You're not going to get my ID. You're not going to get my ID. And I'm going to be civil. I'm going to start civil litigation against you. Crazy. Trespassed me from an open parking lot, not restricted area or anything. Let's go catch up with them. Can I be? Can I be trespassed from this sidewalk where it's right in front of the parking lot? Ridiculous. Chief, I want to. I want to submit a complaint. Chief, I want to submit a complaint. You're not getting away with this one. You might get away with them. You might get away with them normally on a regular basis, but not today. I want to submit a complaint. So I go inside to do that? Or get him a complaint form. We'll get you a public I need I need your names. It, it is your policy to give me your name. I, who, who do I know I'm filing a complaint against? I'll let you figure it out. Oh, I gotta figure it out? That's real professional. Everything else. That's real professional. Nah, you can go ahead. You can go ahead. You, want to file a uh, you guys, you guys are the ones that are being aggressive here. You're not walking behind me. I will. Don't worry about it. Report. I will. What's your name? I need to file a complaint against you. Chief Ashley Brown. Chief Ashley Brown. Yeah. Okay. Great. And your name, sir? Be professional. Come on. Is it really that serious? You're not making yourself look good here. I'm just asking you for your name. Your name, sir. I'm waiting for you to get over here so you can hear me. Oh, okay, thank you. Your name, sir? Heinzman. Heinzman? Yes. And do you have a badge number, Heinzman? 654. 654? Thanks. Yeah, I know you don't care, but that's just the, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Then comes civil litigation, chief. Then comes civil lit litigation. Because I was trespassing in your parking lot. That's a public parking lot. Hey, we're not gonna debate it. You want to file a complaint? You, to you don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me what to do. Let's make that clear. You don't tell me what to do. So you're the public servant here. You want to file the complaint? I do want to file a complaint. You can go get it. I'm not stopping you. You guys have a bad attitude, especially you, Sergeant. You came over here trying to threaten me with my ID. You got a bad attitude, man. That's you got to learn. The, you got to learn Georgia state law. That's your matter of opinion. So, do you understand that under Georgia state law, you cannot demand ID from law-abiding citizens, sir? Do you understand that or not? Was that on the sergeant's exam, or was it? Maybe I'll put a suggestion in that that should be on the sergeant's exam when you can and cannot identify a law-abiding citizen. Fill it out. You don't need to. I can fill it out here. No. This is a public lobby. You're going to kick me out of a public lobby too, Chief? Oh, fill it out then. All right, you thank you. Out? Excuse me. You need to borrow your pen too? Or? Excuse me. You can't record while you're in here. Why can't I record while I'm in here? I have a constitutional right to film the police in the course of their duty, sir. Is this department so uneducated and so inept at their job that you? it must be from the top down? Because your sergeant doesn't know when he can legally identify somebody. And you're telling me I can't film in a police lobby? 
Yes, I sure can. I can film in the police lobby. It's my constitutional right. I'm, I'm, I have freedom of press in this country, sir. What country do you think you live in? Are you with the press? Yes, I am with the press. Let me see your ID. No, I'm not showing you ID. I'm not showing you an ID, sir. Get out of the building. Get out of the building. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Yeah. No problem. How do I file the complaint if I can't get in the building? Whatever. Certain Slow parts of it can be okay. certain parts right. of it can be anonymous. Are you done? I don't have to get I don't have to give you my name. All right. I don't have to give you my address. You don't. You're just being yeah. difficult. Okay. Sergeant, a little bit of de-escalation training okay. will take you a long way. You need right. to learn. I understand you learn from your chief, who's right. also a bully and a tyrant, but you need to learn. Don't talk to people that way. You understand? All right. Have a safe day, okay? Yeah. Tyrant. Crazy. Always remember, this is your right under the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution to film in public. No one can expect any privacy in a public space.